Now, a revolution is defined as a fundamental change in an organizational structure uh, that takes place when people uh, revolt or against some current order. Right? And I'm seeing five signs that this is the beginning of a revolution in finance. For starters, we're sensing just explicit discontent with traditional investment management. Whether it's management fees or lack of transparency, lack of trust, there's certainly a change taking place where investors no longer trust the traditional investment management process. We're also seeing that a small group of companies control most of the data. Whether it's the exchanges or market data providers, Bloomberg, Reuters, or whether it's companies like Google or Amazon, they have most of the data. And it's just a few firms that control it. In a sense, we're living in a digital oligarchy. Right? The third sign is that data is growing at a frantic pace. Uh, and it's actually becoming unmanageable. Without new technologies, it's impossible for us to make sense of what information is being thrown at us. And this is a problem. The fourth sign is that we're seeing a spike in the number of alternative data providers. Now, the traditional provider would be your market data firm, as well as your companies providing fundamental information. Most investment decisions are made using those two sources of data. And now we have hundreds of alternative providers that claim they can give you a way to measure macroeconomic variables before they come out from the official means. Firms that claim they have sources to predict stock returns or predict the company's earnings, even before the information comes out. Some of them are valid, some of them are not. But the fact is that there are alternatives now. And the fifth sign um, is that intuition instead of data-driven decision-making has been the norm. And we know better, right? We know that data science can help us make sense of the world of big data. And yet, the world of finance is still very traditional. This is Raven Pack.